was having this little discussion online um, in the comment section <laughs> of YouTube. Um, uh, Band from Taboo Conspiracy put out a great little short video on the Earth curve. Uh, you know, the, all these observations everybody's doing. You know, we're going with the eight inches per mile squared, which is a good formula. But that is based on the equator or the lines of longitude, which the circumference of the Earth at the equator is 24,901 miles. You plug that in the formula, you get 8 inches per mile squared. Well, I was trying to tell people that the further north you go, these latitude lines get smaller. Okay? Like if you're at the Arctic Circle, this, this line is only uh, 9,900 miles around. So if you were on the Earth at the Arctic Circle, say looking across here along this line, you would get more than double the curvature. That'd be more than double. It's at the 60th parallel is half the circumference of the equator. So at the Arctic Circle, it's even less. You'd be getting more than 16 inches per mile squared right here. At the 60th parallel, you'd be getting 16 inches per mile squared. And nobody talks about this, I guess, because nobody really thinks about it. And the Globers certainly don't want anybody thinking about this because this is a bigger nail in the coffin for the globe. It is huge. If you were standing right here and looking this way along this line, uh, have to, would have to do the math, but you'd be getting more than 16 inches per mile squared. Now looking north and south, it would be eight inches because each one of these lines is 24,900 mile, 900 miles long. Um, I took these two little foam balls and did a little experiment kind of explain what I'm talking about. I'll paste that in here and then I will be right back. All right, I was having this discussion online about um, the eight inches per mile squared formula for the Earth curve. And, uh, you know, depending on where you're at on the Earth, the curvature can vary. Okay, I bought this ball here and put some dots on it. And I will pull up the um, speeds at different latitudes. And these dots will represent latitudes on the Earth. They tell us the Earth is spinning. I don't know if, you, if this is picking up on the camera or not, but you shake it back and forth like that. You know, the the dot towards the center is moving a lot further and faster than the dot up here. So, you know, they say the Earth is spinning it a little over a thousand miles an hour at the equator when you get up to the North Pole it's supposedly almost zero but the latitudes in between it changes okay so if you're at the equator and you measure the earth well let's, let's do it this way real quick we'll take this little piece of speaker wire and wrap it around like this Okay, so that is the circumference of this ball. Okay, I'm going to mark it right here. As you can see, I'm going to cut it. Should have my pliers out already, I guess. Cut it right here. Okay, and this should be the same. See, it's not much without focus. <clears throat> so, they tell us the Earth is spinning on an axis, and that's how we get latitude lines. Now, any longitude line, you know, going north to south or whatever, is going to be the same. See how it lines up right there? But, so, if you're standing on this ball, say on this upper dot, and looking across straight over east or west, you have a lot more curvature, oh, this is backwards on the camera, you have a lot more curvature here 
on the smaller part of the ball than you would at the equator or at any of the longitude lines. All the longitude lines are going to be the same, same thing, but your latitude lines are always going to be different. And I'll pull that up in a minute. Okay, so I cut, took one of these and cut it in pieces to demonstrate this. This, I didn't cut it very straight, but say these are your latitude lines. This is a slice off the sphere. You know, if you were standing here on the sphere and looking over this curve, and be way more dramatic than at the equator. And then this slice of the sphere, say this is the Arctic Circle, and you're standing on the Arctic Circle looking over the curve, it'd be a lot more, a lot steeper of a curve than it would be at the equator or if you were looking north or south. And then another slice, of course, this would be a little bit closer to the equator, and you know, you'll have a little bit less curve until you get to the equator, you know, more curve here, more curve here, which, like on this ball, you're standing at the equator dot, say this is the Earth, that's going to be 24,901 miles around. You're standing at this dot, and I'll pull up these numbers here in just a second. It's going to be a lot smaller if you're looking east and west. Now, some people don't really get this, but, and you can see, oh, see, I hope this is picking up on the camera, you can see that the top dot is not moving as far as the middle dot, if, if you can see those streaks when you do the, when I do this back and forth, the middle dot's traveling a lot further than the top dot when I go back and forth like this. So that's how you get your different speeds, different latitudes. Like I said, there will also be different curvature. If you're standing on the Earth at this point and looking east and west, there's definitely going to be more curvature than if you're standing at the equator looking east and west. Okay, so here we go with um, the speeds of the Earth at different latitudes. And the reason these speeds are different is because it's a smaller part of the ball. Now, this is pretty simple. You know, this is if the Earth were a ball, I mean, so uh, at the equator, you know, it's uh, 1,037 miles per hour, approximately. Um, so you get on 10 degrees from the equator, it's 1,021, so on, so on, and to 80 degrees, it's 180 miles per hour. So this brings up another question that. I don't know, maybe or maybe not. Um, if you were standing at the equator watching the sun, moon, and stars go overhead and then went to this 80 degree mark, would you not notice a difference in the speed or could measure a difference in the speed if if the, you know, the heliocentric model was correct and, um, you know, the speed of the earth, the rotation of the earth is what made things appear to move across the sky. Wouldn't, you know, wouldn't there be a measurable difference between the equator and say 80 degrees? Between over a thousand miles an hour down to 180 miles an hour? There should be a major noticeable difference. But I had never heard anybody bring that up. But People say I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe I am. But uh, let's see. This here you go, the 60th parallel is approximately half the length of the equator. And the Arctic Circle is 9,900 miles long. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm looking at Google Earth. I'm here at the Arctic Circle, which is only 9,900 miles long. If you were anywhere along here, you should, if you were looking straight along this line, you see a massive difference in curvature because you're on the smaller part of the ball. And um, I think, like I said, I think this is a a huge thing that people are overlooking. Or, or you know, I don't think I'm looking at this the wrong way. Because, you know, say if you were at this circle right here, I mean, you know, they're supposedly so big you wouldn't notice it anyway. You know, 
course you can't go that far north but if you're right here you know the earth supposedly so big you wouldn't notice this slight bend in this line you know you never know this was curving going to the west right so people up here in the north should be able to look east or west and see a major difference in curvature than they would looking north to south all right uh that's all i got for this one um i said i was just having this conversation kind of in the comment section with somebody and I, they just were not seeing what i was saying a few people were actually seeing what i was saying but some were not and hopefully this clears it up um maybe they still will disagree with this point of view i don't know but i think this is a major thing that a lot of people are overlooking all right let me know what you think in the comments thanks for watching